Hello, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I guess it shouldn't be welcome back. should be a brand new day. Uh, it's been quite some time, even as you can tell, I've looked different. It's been quite a few months since my last recording. People probably wondered if I died. I'm alive. Thankfully, for most people. Um, let's see here. Just start a new Seven Days to Die. They did have some updates. Um, and my plans in the future is to eventually stream this game for everyone to play. But as you can see, uh, recording and streaming at the same time on my PC, it does okay, but it's not perfect. Uh, I would like to get that better in the new year coming up. Um, but I've been hosting a lot of games online, tabletop games. Uh, the Pokemon 1 just came out. Uh, which has been a big success. I've been running Curse of Strahd as well for one of my groups. And just, yeah, having a grand old time. It's been a while. I, I missed you guys. Um, been busy. I did a building trades, which is funny because I'm gathering wood right now and stuff uh, to build stuff. Uh, building trades class. And I've learned to do quite a few things. I replaced uh, some of the windows in a house. And been learning different skills outside of things I would normally uh, do. Kind of getting out of my comfort zone some. Come on game, don't lag at me too much. So, one of my players told me that they just got seven days to die. Which of course is this game. And so the first thing I'm going to tell you to do, if you're learning, because they, they told me they're going to challenge me so they're going to challenge me one day. So this time, I'm going to try to play this a little more seriously. Give you a little idea of what you're up against. Okay. First thing is, you want to get through the tutorial. Okay. Reason why? Don't care about that. Um, is the tutorial is going to give you some stat points. Those stat points you're going to use to increase your character's abilities, which will help you survive and do other things. One of the most important skills you want to get, to get is healing factor. And also, when you start to play, one of the most important things is to check out... I know you're here. There you are. Man, you, you landed on your feet. That was kind of impressive. Okay, she's on fire. I'm just going to keep her with the torch. Okay, so one of the things you noticed, too, and this is quick interaction, once I knew she was dead is when I saw the XP pop up on my screen. Now, that's a pretty good indicator of when, you know, you've actually killed the zombie or not. But another thing is, if you're playing with other people, it's not. Because if you're sharing XP, you can have that pop up on your screen at different times because they killed the zombie. So there's a lot of different uh, pinpoints. So I'm going to try to just go through some ideas or things I would recommend to other people uh, who are playing. And also to this challenger of mine. Um, see, you know, help them get going and, and enjoy the game. Because I really do love this game. And I'm hoping that you will too. So you can see this is cloth here. Oh, probably should have done the top one first. This is a shower curtain. But see, I'm getting cloth from it. Cloth's important because you can make bandages. See here, bandage here. Mm, I think five is a good amount. And then we also have some duct tape, which is red. Duct tape is awesome. We got a recipe there. The lead's not so important right now. It's too early game for me to really be messing around with lead, but again, this is good too. One of the things I brought up is um, in the beginning, when you're starting your game, you get to choose uh, some of the settings for the world you generate. You can even generate a whole brand new world. This world that I'm currently in is the one that's pre-built by the developers now this game. And they've added to it as the game's gone developed over the, the years that this game has been in development for. You can see there's a box there. You're going to see boxes like this throughout. Uh, they don't all look exactly the same. Where's my crouch button? Can I crouch here? should be able to crouch. Come on, where's my crouch? What's going on? Can't crouch? I figured I was going to fall. Um, 
you can also okay or fall through the floor in the one random broken floorboard. Either way, I need to place this and get on with my uh, finishing the rest of my stuff. So the cool part is in this building, there was a kitchen. Got a cooking oven. Some fresh water. And in those settings, when you're generating your game, you can change a lot of things. One of the things I personally change specifically is when it says blood moon count enemies, you can lower it down to the minimum, which is four. The reason why I do this is because for some reason, I don't know if it's in previous patches or even if it's in this new one because I haven't played the new one too much, is that it would constantly spawn enemies. So even though it's set to four, if you're playing multiplayer, you're going to have a hordes of zombies the entire night. Non-stop. We got some rocks over here. It's a lot easier to see them in the snow. I'm just going to grab one. Got to be careful because of the ice. Maybe to get cold. When you start the game, you see you have a little jacket in the left corner that gives me a temporary boost to resist temperatures so I don't instantly freeze. Just in case I randomly spawned out here in the snow. Okay, getting good. Now I just need to get these plant fiber jacket, plant fiber shirt, boom. And that's being made right now. Well, that's being made. I'm gonna chop up some more stone. Now they wanna make sure I know how to wear it. So you're just gonna quickly go through this. Get yourself all the basics. That wants me to gather more wood. I don't think I have any, do I have any feathers? I do, good, because personally I don't like bows and arrows. Uh, there are people who do use them. There's a build for every set in the game. Um, I'm gonna show you my personal favorite. Okay. You can also increase the amount of XP that's dropped in game two and other things to make things go a little faster. Um, which I recommend because the game can get to a point where it's monotonously slow. And you don't want that to happen. It'll be boring. Okay. See, I'm zipping through this as fast as I can. Usually I make it where a day is about an hour long. And now I've built the thing. Good job, Survivor. Good job. Good job. Cool, yo. Gotta set that to scrap. I'm going to drink some water. Actually, it looks like food and water is a little bit... Does this give water, too? Food health, now. Nah. I have quite a lot of water. Okay, so now it's going to tell me that I need to... Uh, well, I got my skill points, so that's good. But it also tells me oop, where the nearby trader is. And the next trader is pretty far away south. And I'm all the way up here by this north ridge line. There are other traders on the map, but this is the one it's directing me to. So first thing, like I said, one of the skills you're going to want to get is this healing factor. This means when you get hurt or take critical injuries, they heal faster, and every 90 seconds you're going to gain back 1 HP, which is pretty important. Another one here that I recommend is pain tolerance is a good one. But I'm going to go for lucky looter. So you have a slim chance um, to get better loot. Um, which is always helpful and also makes me loot faster. Another one I'm going to do. Pack Mule allows me to carry more, which is always helpful. Um, and I have two points left. So intellect, one of the ones we're going to want is probably forging. Right now we can't make a forge, so there's no point to do that. So I'm going to do cardio so I can get to the place I need to get to faster. And then lastly, I'm going to do ooh, Master Chef, or we're going to do Pac Meal. Okay. Now, there's many different skills you can choose from that you can pick if you think it's better. I highly just recommend at least Healing Factor. Uh, the Pain Tolerance is a really good one, too, if you find yourself in a lot of fights early on or expecting to be in a lot of fights early on. Right now, we're just going to make our way directly to um, this trader. One of the things you want to keep your eyes out for, of course, are bears 
or boars or any big threats. Right now we're really squish. We do not have a lot going on with for our life. If you find something like brass, you want to scrap it. But remember, brass takes a while to scrap. Now you can see, now I'm looting faster. There's a building over there. You want to keep a good whereabouts of your surroundings as you're traveling. Making good notice of what you're looking for, uh, as well as any particular landmarks that stand out. A uh, little lag there. Nice, right, so it's got a nice indicator and marker on it, so it tells me, hey, you're getting pretty close, about 500 meters away. Okay. Keep on going. So what those little skips in the data is, that's the map rendering in. Since this is the first time I've loaded up this map. So this is a brand new game. It's probably taking longer than it can be. Now you saw there's a zombie down there and there's a rabbit. If you can see way over there, that little dot moving, that's a rabbit. If I had my bow and arrow, I could try to get it. But to be honest, rabbits are probably one of the harder things to get without them getting glitched out. But you can get them caught on rocks, anything else, anything in particular. Now the best early game and even the best weapon throughout most of the game is this, is your torch. The reason why I say that is because not only does it doesn't do a lot of damage, but when it catches people on fire, that's very helpful. The thing that's good about it is it doesn't have any durability. So you can constantly smack people as much as you want, and if it breaks, it, it won't ever break. There you go. All right, so we're gonna cross this bridge. It looks like where we're going is across this bridge. I like the bridges. Uh, I one time I built the base on top of it. I didn't finish in one of my f files. Uh, this is also by a working stiff tool grocery store place. Oof. How much space we got? Uh, well, I don't need half of the stuff. I'll take a glimpse inside. I'm lagging. A little bit. It's taking a while to render everything in here. You might find zombies in places like this that are asleep. Oh, you heard them? Where are you? Oh, what? right beside me? Where did you come from? You should have come around the front door? Yeah, there you go. Okay, lag. Okay. So you notice she smacked me. She's got more health than that other zombie. Oh, she dropped loot this time. And I just got vitamins. This was really clutch. Got a lot of vitamins. So you take vitamins, and they will prevent you from getting infected. They also cure fatigue, and they last for 12 minutes. They stack, so you can have take more than one at a time. Very helpful, considering that was pretty random. Ooh, claw hammer is really good. Oh, we got another zombie fall through the floor. Off of the ceiling? Where are you? I'm waiting to see if anyone pops up. Oh, there you are. I hear another one. Get it back up a bit. Get out the door. Ooh, there's a lot of wood right here. So these wood piles are really handful too. There's a guy there. Use your hearing as best you can. So I'm just moving back and forth. Procking his attack. Oh, he's running now. And smacking him as many times as I can. Took another hit there. I'm getting a little lazy, aren't I? So you can see there's there's things there's specific things I'm kind of looking for. Another zombie. This place is chock full of zombies, man. Oh, this one's a little different. This one's usually a little stronger. So I'm gonna try to aim for his head. And now that he's down. Oh, I don't know how I missed there. There we go, I hit him that time. He got a hit on me. I hear another zombie. Over there. 
That's a big dude. I hit him, but that gla it's a glancing blow. So there's a difference between a regular hit and a full hit. That one was a glancing blow. So, Caught him on fire. Gonna wait a second, watch my stamina come up. And there you go. Let's see here. So I've actually cleared this area out pretty well, but I want to get to the trader. Um, you can see all these. These are all stone blocks, and there's another zombie back there just sleeping. Um, and this back cement, this back gate area is pretty good too. So you might come back there. And there's like, let's try to get to this trader before it gets too late. They do close. Usually, you want to build your settlement somewhere near a trader. That's the only one. It's not like there's more. Oh, there's more than one up the hill. Boom. Now, one of the things with sledgehammers is you see that they're really strong, but you saw how much stamina it took me to, to, to use that, swing that thing. I just hit him in the head. And that did nothing. I hear another one. There's another lady up there. Okay. One of the things that help, by the way, it's drinking water. You get a stamina regen boost for a couple of seconds. As you see that on the left hand side, it shows the drinking water face. Yeah, take him out when you can. One of the things also I gained my level. Um Let's see here. <laughs> Hi Molly. <laughs> Let's see. This time I'm going to put my first level into blacksmithing so I can get the forge. Getting your forge up and going is very important. The faster you get that going, the faster you're, the more advanced you're going to be within time. Where did I lose my trade point? There it is. <laughs> That's a big rock right there. Now here's another thing too. If you use your sledgehammer to let's say mine a rock, you're not going to get any resources out of it. Sledgehammers are meant to break things in this game. They're not meant to break apart stuff, which is kind of sad. Uh, they would be perfect for breaking apart rocks. So here's our trader. Actually, it looks pretty pretty nice setup. There's also some things you can find around it or inside the trader's outpost. Oh, there's a zombie there. Ah, we don't even care right now. See, there's a bunch of tr uh, garbage and stuff around here we can loot. And sometimes... Ooh, that was actual cement. You can't damage anything within a trader place. Otherwise, what it'll do is actually it'll evict you out, evict you out of the premises. Um, here's an old forge. Old heads. I can't even check that. So you can get stuff from the vending machine, which is really helpful. If you have other people in your game, they can post things that are for sale. And these vending machines, or you can put your own stuff for sale on those. So very community based. Here's an old chem station. So chem stations are used for crafting medicine and other things like that. Um, I'm just kind of looking around. I see he's got a bunch of blueberries. But look at if I, it won't let me. So it doesn't have, it kick me out. I can't damage anything inside. Um, the only time it kicks you out is when the time. Like the place closes, the trader closes, then you are forcibly removed. I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. Okay, and then you can get jobs here. So the closest one is a buried supplies job, which is probably one of the most of a pain in the butt one to do because you have to dig a hole in the ground. Uh, clearing zombies is usually pretty good. I liked the ones north, but man, these are 1.8 kilometers. This is only a quarter of the distance. Think I've we'll got do that one. So it's like a buried treasure one. Good luck. Are you good or her? We're gonna try to sell some of our stuff. You can hear there's zombies outside. They're punching the outside wall. I got cornmeal, which could be used for food. Bunch of concrete. Only 25 for that little. Oh man. All right, we can sell the that. Got a bunch of brash that usually sells. Okay. Uh, there are skills that help increase uh, what you earn from this. 
from selling stuff. So if you want to be really good at bartering, that's definitely something to look into. Oil is something that's worth quite a bit. Of course, medicine. Uh, paper has a little bit, but you need a lot of it. Gunpowder I'm going to sell too. These are all pretty much things that uh, I can't really use for a while. Blood bags used to make medicine, but I won't be able to do that in a while as well. Um, but now I can look and actually see, okay, what are the things I actually need here? We can get a, I only have 442, so I can't get any of these crazy, like a book or a bicycle would be awesome, right? Oh, they have a marksman rifle. Eventually I'll probably be using that. They have some forged iron, which is pretty good. Oh, a mining helmet would be great because there's a light on it. Urban combat, scrap boots, medicine. Medicine's pretty solid right now, too. Ooh, they had a cement mixer for 5,000. Okay, that makes sense. Munitions box. It's a nice, it's a better version of the storage box. You can store stuff in. Um, that actually might be pretty cool to get. I don't have enough for it. I need a little bit more, so maybe I'll get rid of all this concrete. Get rid of the concrete. What else can I, I can get rid of one of these. I only need one. I have some food. Ooh, but my food's pretty vital for my survival, isn't it? Mm. Get rid of medicine, live on the edge. 48, that sounds like enough. 32, that's enough. We'll get a munitions box probably, unless I find something really good. I'm not seeing anything that's really taken down the cake. Oh, boiled meat recipe. That's pretty rad, actually. Um, but can't you make this without the recipe? I thought you can make it without the recipe. Hmm. Repair kit. It's good. Metal sp springs. Hmm. I have a claw hammer, so that's pretty rad. Good on that. Man, everything's so expensive. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the munitions box. I know it's a weird thing to pick, but it'll make my yeah, storage deal. Uh, easier to deal with. Trust me. I'm a okay, so now the most important thing is, you're probably thinking, let's, let's do this, uh, let's do this quest for the digging and everything else like that, right? right there should be a zombie around here because we heard him running around. Yep, there you are. I'm gonna gain a level. There's another zombie out there. Since I've been using the sledgehammer a bit, uh, well, I've got my advanced engineering there. Let's go ahead and use Master Chef, which will teach me how to cook simple things. Now, there's more supplies in there. I think there's a whole back area there, too. I could go up and grab. But I don't need that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can come back for it later. This guy looks different. Oh, no, he's just wearing a suit. Boom. Yeah, his head's gone. Okay. So tell me the buried supplies are this way. I know the snow's up that route. Uh, there's a big city here. It looks like ash land. If you look close on the map, it looks like it turns to ash here. So, And then there's this place right here, which was that grocery store. Let's head back. We were already working on clearing that grocery store. Let's clear out that grocery store, make it in a prompt to base, and then we can figure out where we want to go after that. Right now we need shelter. Just like you would in a normal situation. Oh, there, that's a chicken. Oh my god, chicken. Oh, zombie. Ruining my chicken. Can you see I'm busy? Oh, you have chicken? No, but you, had a sh you had gave me forged steel. Okay. All right, then. I'll take forged steel. I'm going to say one of these medicines, it tastes like I get fatigued. Um, but yeah. Not too shabby. Let's get to the place. Just follow this path. It'll get to the bridge. We can go to the bridge. Yeah, let's clear out this place, loot it. By the time we're done doing that, it'll be nighttime. You can see it's got a pretty sturdy wall around the back end of it. Which I guess is where it was loaded. Music changed? 
sometimes it changes because there's something around and sometimes it changes for no reason whatsoever so you're never quite sure if it's a hint or not about things around you either way we know there's a zombie right there taking a nap and we're gonna go ahead and clear this whole building out so here we go I'm gonna crouch come on crouch where's my crouch there it is say why is my crouch not working You go see the eye on the left? That's your stealth rating. How did that not get sneak attack? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. One of the things too when I play, I increase the block damage a little bit. So that way melee classes actually have a chance. Otherwise, I'm gonna be honest, melee classes are pretty weak without any help. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna clear out the building first fully. If I remember this building, I've been to this building before. Like, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in this back room here. Now, I think I remember correctly, there's a way to drop in from above. See, I'm gonna pull out the torch. See if I can see a little better. So this is like the staff room. I think I'm going to place my land claim block there. Press E to activate it. If you're a multiplayer, the land claim block is quite important. Now I got my munitions box. And now I could just load it up with stuff. Stuff I don't particularly need to hold on to exactly at this moment. Little things like that. There you go. And we can put that in there too. And if you want to sort it, it could just auto sort like that. Don't need that. I don't need paper. Boom. Try to keep your inventory organized. Oh, wow. I thought the munitions box had held more than that. Um, hmm. Must have been a mod from a different game. That's another thing too. This game has a lot of mods. So if you feel like mixing it up a bit or playing something different, uh, there's a lot. This vending machine, you can take it apart, get quite a lot from it. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we're going to find some more zombies around here. All these doors seem to be locked, though. Okay, so that's not bueno. No bueno, indeed. most terrifying thing we could find back here, which I'm worried about, not in there, out here in the back, is a zombie dog. There's one laying on the table there, there's one standing there. Alright, one down. Now we had another one, right? Yep. Oh, there's quite a lot of them. So we're going to dance around here. So now I hit both of them with that. I got a glancing blow on one and hit the other one square. I need to drink some more water and eat some food. Oh, there's more than I thought there. Just going to take her time. There's quite a few of them. Glancing blow again. I hit him that time, but I didn't finish him. One down. I guess I don't have to worry about uh, zombie dogs. You can see my stamina with using this weapon is just not not a very good mix. Don't think there's anything that way, except for the roof. One down. Another one, but he's not dead. I'm starting to get hungry. Time to eat some chili. Okay, I got my stamina back.
Okay. Right through that. Not too bad. Um. Allows me to craft lock picks, it's always good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do the Tyrannosaurus, which gives me better reduced stamina so I can keep swinging. I'm gonna put one level into that. Been using this quite a lot. Now, the cool part is with stone weapons like this, they don't take much to repair. So I'm back and ready to go again. Uh, you saw that though. I was only five zombies. That was during the day, so they weren't their full speed. Um, but I, I had to really pace myself as I couldn't just keep swinging with this. Even after landing a good hits or glancing blows, it, it doesn't do anything for my stamina. I'm gonna scrap this, scrap that, scrap this, and scrap that. Alright, whoop, a little laggy there. This door's unlocked. So this looks like the office for whoever was the leader here. Here a zombie. I'm gonna close the door. I think they're outside, outside the wall, but you never know. Oh, they're closer than I thought. They're outside the gate there. Well, we're going to go up the gate. Alright. Oh, bird, 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 bird. One bird down. Birds are the worst. Right, I got rid of the bird, but something else hit me. That's already a dead zombie. So we had two on the ground climbing around. Come on. I broke his arm off. I don't think he died. Okay, one's done. I hear other zombies downstairs. Okay, this one's gone. So we have the ones downstairs, it sounds like. Okay. This place is almost clear. That's already a dead zombie. And that gets into that area I was talking about from above. Yeah, I think they're right outside the wall here. Yeah, they are. There's two of them. There's a biker zombie and a regular one. Okay. It's time to fight. I'm on fire. The other one, as you notice me, I'm over here. Just want to knock him down. I don't know if they run faster when they're on fire or not, but he seems to run a little quicker. Oof! Hey, don't break my shop! Yeah, this is my shop. No refunds. Wait for it. And then hit. Alright, now we gotta get resources, clear out the shop, and prepare for night. another zombie
Where are you, zombie? I hear you. I think he's inside. Oh, you're right there. You're outside the fence. No. No hugs. Hugs are not allowed. Illegal. Bad. I haven't gained a level yet, have I? Alright, cool. I think we're finally cleared this area. Now, there's one problem with this whole place. That is, there is way too many openings. Okay? So, if we plan to stay here for the long haul, we need to really fix all these up. What did I just do? No! Don't know how I even did that. Okay. Actually, which reminds me, let's not do that, or that. Gonna need quite a few of these. You can see I already have it set up in my square. Now, can I put this in a square here? Okay, good. So it doesn't matter if it's repaired or not. I just want to plug this hole up. That's all I'm looking for. I'm just plugging the hole up. Alright, I gained a level. I wish there was a level that could help you repair things faster, but eventually you get a nail gun. You get a nail gun, it only takes one hit to, up to repair things. Pretty nice. Augers are really nice too. Once you get power tools, who game changes. Alright, so first off, I gotta clean the floor. I guess. There you go. Clean it up some. Anything else? No, not really. Okay. Yeah, this door doesn't close. Just trying to fill up the spots that aren't completely blocked. Got it. The next thing we gotta do is build a door. Not a door, a door. Always upgrade your door. Paintbrush. Okay. I heard a zombie again. Okay, so that's all plugged up, at least for now. Holy, there's a chicken in here! What? Oh my god, my dreams. Don't move, chicken. Don't move. How did you get in here? I should keep you, but I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have enough bones to make a knife, do I? I don't. I'm sorry. 
Oh, I got bones now. Okay. I'm sorry, chicken. That, I, I, wow. That's lucky. We praise you, almighty chicken, our lord and savior. Thou who'd give us the nuggies. Nuggies. In the land of no huggies. I accidentally stabbed the freezer. This will be a testament to the freezer. This is actually a good spot here. Right there. Okay. Either way, we can finish going through the rest of this place more. As we loot. Oh, that is a zombie. Where are you? I like that sound. That hissing sound is actually that of a uh, crocodile. It's actually pretty funny. Where are you? I'm banging on this. There you are. See, you just wanted to come out and play. Boom. Ooh. Oh, you stunned me. I do not appreciate that. Ah, the sound feels weird. That, sir. What did you do to me? All right, so. I bandaged my abrasion, but I got a concussion. And to get rid of it, you have to take this. Which does heal me, but it also makes me thirsty. I'm just going to have to take that. And then we're in business. Now here's another problem. I got two big old door slots right here. So I need to build some more doors. And these fences really aren't that strong. So this side's pretty open to problems. So I'm probably going to close up one of these entrances. Yeah, there's two entrances there. Now we're getting, getting the dark lights going on. Trying to scare me. I'm going to get rid of this club since I've been using a sledgehammer anyways. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I guess not. Oh, that's not, that is not what I want. What, why are you over there? Oh, no, you're gone. Okay, uh, change of plans. I'm just going to fill these up for now. Can't see anything in here. We got some nails. We got a wrench. We got a wrench. Nice. Okay, well, I gotta plug up this back wall. Whoa, why did my mouse just all of a sudden throw me up into the ceiling like that? Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I hear zombies. I hear you. I'm lagging. You're at my door? You're at the dead door. Alright, here. We, we can fight. We don't have to do this the rough way. Alright, you're on fire now. Should be easier to see you. Another thing, when they die, the fire goes out. Okay, so there's something weird I noticed. Remember how there was two doors, two entrances? This gate, this farm area here. There's another one back here. Oh, this connects to the break room. Okay. I gotta fill this one up. Gonna figure out which way I wanted it in my head. Doesn't seem like much, but every little bit counts.
Now we're just gathering resources as they wait for night. It sound cr sound crazy, but you want to do most of your resource ga gathering, gather, gathering, <laughs> gathering at night. <laughs> it's magic to gathering. <laughs> You see, I'm getting a lot of stone off these things. Another thing you want to start collecting is this stuff. This is how you get concrete. This is how you make cement it's from these things. But man, they eat away at your durability and you'll be there all day. So, yeah. It's always helpful to have better tools. There's certain stuff on the ground you can break apart like that. That's trash. Uh, let's see here. Also, this I think is what goes in the other room. Okay, yeah. This is how we connect to that room to this room. Let's finish our looting. Now that we got a wrench, we can really take this place apart and get some really good materials. Okay. We have this graded area off too we haven't got into as well. Um, what I think I'm going to do... I like the coffee maker. Don't care for the microwave, it doesn't really work. <laughs> Break the microwave. I hear a zombie outside, but he's got a campsite. What am I doing? Campfire. But everything's closed up and locked. Oh, I need forged iron. It says to repair it. Okay. Now we got that campfire. And you can actually get like an actual nice looking stove later on in the game. Put that right there. Then I'm going to put some wood on it. Which I've been using a lot of my wood. Uh, I'm also going to grab my pot. Any food? No, but I can get this water. Here, look, easy way. Hit R. And it'll instantly shift everything over from one side to the other if there's anything that is stackable. And that's the keyword, stackable. Okay, we'll see here. I can get some charred meat. I don't have anything to make bacon and eggs. I do have a cooking pot, so. Throw that on, so we got the cooking pot. We can make boiled water. Let's do boiled water first. Uh, we got some stuff to make some red tea. We have that next. Uh, and then have bacon and eggs. Got enough to make one thing of bacon and eggs. There you go. Not too shabby. I think now that I have this boiled water, I might be able to make the croissant, the other red tea again. So that'll finish that. And then how much goldenrod tea I can make? Three. Give me. Just get one more, and I'll set the goldenrod tea to go, and then I can walk away for a bit. You got it. Boom. So. Red tea is good for digestion. It makes means whenever you eat food, you get more out of it. Where yellow tea, golden raw tea, helps you in case you get sick if you get dysentery. All right, pretty red. Now, this thing's still not working, so we might just take it apart. But first, I'm going to start working on taking apart the rest. And I'm going to check out that other room now. Uh, my packed, actually, I'm still overloaded with stuff. So I'm going to check out the other stuff. There, 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 there. Don't need that. I can put that away, put that away, that away, that away. Um, marble. Yeah, that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. Don't need the nails. Uh, guess I'll take that so I can break it down myself. Enough. There's definitely a zombie around. Sounds like he's pretty close, actually. Oh, excuse me. Nose is itchy. Let's go see if we can find him. I don't like having people wandering around. He's like at, he's like at this wall here on the other side. 
Sounds like there might be more than one. But it doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, there's one. Ooh, he's got red eyes. It's a feral. I hit hit the wall? What the? I pulled out cornmeal in the middle of a fight. Okay, he's bleeding now. Knocked him out, but there's another zombie around here for sure. I hear him. There it is. Oh, I glanced. Okay, quiet now. Okay, and just like that, we're done with those guys. Here, another zombie out there, but I don't know what they're doing. Like I said, now I'm just cleaning things up, preparing, gain supplies. Make sure to search for shelves. Never know what you'll find. Oh, I guess that's just metal. I'm surprised that you would get more out of this. A little better. Just got some forged iron was what this needed to repair. There you go. Doors up and going. So ready to search that grill here. No grill in it. Hoping to get a grill top. We got some charred grill meat in there. That's always nice. Oh, sounds like we got a zombie at the door again. We need to make a forge. It's on the list of stuff. Sounds like just one again. Oops, that was weird. See, my computer has those hiccups sometimes. Yeah, he's smacking this door here on the side. I seem to really like that door there. Oh, it's just one. If I catch you on fire, that'd make my life a little easier, but okay. This is the first night. It really shouldn't be that bad. So I don't expect a whole lot. Another claw hammer? A bunch of toilets here. So this is like a hardware store. So the reason why this was a good spot to start is because of the these toilets are giving me iron pipes. You need those iron pipes to make the forge. I think you also need um, leather as well. The night's over at 4 a.m. in this game. Hmm. I guess this is, this is kind of the boring part. The dull is surviving the night when there's not a lot to do, so you have to keep yourself busy. A lot easier when you can see, huh? Best is when you get night vision, then everything's green. 
There's also other stuff up top there. That's a broken one. You can see I broke that out and there was a purse inside. Ooh, we got electric wire. Nice. Cleaned out just about everything over here. Just slowly but surely. Why was there gunpowder in the trash can? There's like certain questions you gotta think of. It just like who, why, who did this, and for what reason? All right, we got another wrench. That's always nice. This this wire tool is pretty handy too. Can't get through there from here. I'm gonna close that up. All right, I think we pretty much looted this whole area, so more or less it's been looted. I'm gonna get rid of the garbage. Make it look nice. Okay. Making our way downtown. Bam. Cool. Let's get back to that. Just like I said, just just helps consolidate everything. Oh, I can't have more than one tooth, a toothbrush, paintbrush. Man, what is going on with my brain, man? Toothbrush. Yeah, what is going on with my brain? Um, let's see what else we can cook here. Let's just drop that. I'll get more of that. Uh, glass is better when you have the forge. I have two claw hammers. Mm. Alright, so we're going to drink one of these, which increases digestion by a certain amount. Okay, then we're going to eat the bacon and eggs. We're gonna eat some shard meat. Yeah, I think this uh, is a chance of dysentery. Drink one of those. We're gonna eat some of this. There you go. Which stopped me from getting dysentery. Cool. I'm gonna drink one more. Uh, a little water, actually. Probably could have passed that. I need to make another mini uh, storage crate. Looks like. This is the one that goes to the office. So, this one I don't want to be locked. See, one of the things I don't like about in this game. Is that you can't pick a lock. That's on a door or something, right? There you go. Patched it up. That garbage just right next door. Alright, cool. We can leave this open. And I'm going to put a storage crate. Cool. Storage crate. Unlock it. Boom. No, oh, this was bigger than that one. Wow, that's kind of sad. Cool. All right, we got my streaming setup right here, guys. Look at it. it's ran by a potato. It's pretty accurate. Door is open. Daylight upon this. Let's go check out that room. There's also things on the roof we could uh, loot for. That's not it. But on the other side, I think, yep, there you go. Always keep a lookout for things that are broken like this. Usually that means there's something behind it. Or if the panel's messed up. Let's be 
Oh, this one didn't have anything on it. Maybe that I broke it already. I think there's one over here. Yeah, there's a wood one here. Nice, there was honey in there. Oh, that's always nice to get. Well, good enough. You can always come back a loop more later. Oh, no, don't fall. Okay, you see there's quite a lot of stuff around here. Working stiff sealed supply crate. You got an anvil. Perfect for our forge that we need to make. Crouch, just look around. Anything else up here? No, not really. There's stuff in the floor below us. Otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good. A little big old crate. No, just... There you go. Don't want to break, spend four years breaking that. Another anvil. Another. Got a blunderbuss. Our first gun. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of old stone shovels, which is not good. I don't need stone shovels. They don't help me that much. I can scrap that one. I can uh, scrap that one. Oh, that's actually good. A fortifying grip. Yeah. Oh, I guess I got a better hammer. But I'm keep getting um shovels. I do not need this many shovels. No one does. Wow. Okay. Wow, what a troll. What RNG troll is that? Right? Like, I, I, no way I need that much of any of that. Okay, well, now we have another problem. I need to get out. I could go probably way back I came. It'd probably be the best route. I'm trying to hop on top of this little lantern. Can I get on top of it? It's not good enough. Whoa. I'm going to just go ahead and bop. I'll just do it here. There you go. In and out. That was kind of disappointing, though, for loot wise. For real, it could have been way better. Surprise pallets of wood don't give you as much anymore. That's just glass. There's something back here for sure. I don't know if I'd be anything too good, but or backpack and a crate. Okay. Football helmet. That's probably the best that we've found yet, other than the blunderbuss. Blunderbusses are great, it's just the reload so slow. And you can upgrade it to make it so the reload's faster, but just bare bones? It's... Oh, man. you kidding me. I guess it's an upgrade, guys. I guess it's an upgrade. What am I supposed to say at this point? It's like the seventh one we've gotten. Yeah, yikes. Alright, cool. The reason why I'm doing this is that way I can have line of sight. 
for anything that ever goes in or out of there. I can at least see them from out here, more or less. Uh, I don't like the fact that this dumpster's here because... Okay, I guess I can't. I'm cold? You are cold. Find clothing or shelter. What? But I'm not even in the ice area. I'm not even close to it, am I? I like how this area has some lights already set up. That is nice. What I need to do is install... Uh, up. These walls are really nice and deep, too. I'm curious as to why there's debris here. Like that's that's rock. Uh, sorry, brick. Sure. Like something like there was a building here that collapsed. Right? So that's interesting. That's different than the regular asphalt road. Interesting. Well, I'm over encumbered. Need to enter, empty some of this stuff out. So far, so good. Been just chugging along. Um, let's do this. So we need clay soil. We need leather. We've got plenty of short pipe, plenty of duct tape. Um, actually, I think we have some leather in the other box. Uh, we just need to get it all. Grab my blunderbuss ammo and get to eat one of these charred steaks. Oh, the fire went out. There you go. We got seven shots from the blunderbuss. That's it. Yikes. Got seven things of leather. Probably use a little more leather. What was that? That sounded different. That sounded different. Oh, don't jump on the ladder, Sean. I'm cold, find shelter. Is this gonna replace my? This better not replace my helmet. I'll be mad. Darn it! It does. Scrap it. Let's make something else then. Uh, shoes. I don't think I have shoes on. One thing else better to help me with the cold. I knew there's a wolf. How are you alive? I just punched that wolf in the face. Ooh. 
Well, that, uh, I knew I heard something. But I didn't expect it to be a wolf. I punched that wolf square in the face. I went to swap weapons and I swapped to one of the ones that was empty and just punched him. That's a lot of meat, though. Whoa, that's a nice haul. I got an engine, nice. too shabby all right starting to come along the base is looking pretty good we've got a eating area a kitchen and we've got um oh thanks to that wolf that gives me enough leather i think so we needed leather we needed what was it else clay we need clay so we need to go dig Where's one of my 12 bajillion shovels? Did I just zoom in my thing by accident? What did I do? Oh, I just moved. So not that shovel. We have definitely better shovels than that. Take one of those. Put you in there. Put the engine in there. Put you in there. Put you... Uh, no, move the animal fat, I suppose. No eggs, and I can't make boiled meat yet. You see, I didn't need the recipe. You don't have the required fuel. Oh, I just did put wood on the fire. There you go, man. Boiled meat, go for it. Whoa. I don't know why my camera did that. And we have the storage crate here. I might put another one eventually. Okay, so here's up. So we have the leather. We have the that, that. Let's put everything else in there too. Glasses, sure. Okay. So this, this. Ooh, we got more blunderbuss ammo. So I have more than that. Um Here's the claw hammer. Got to put the wrench away for now. Claw hammer's in the other one. I just need clay, I think. Where's my, um, there it is. I got my, my shovel. Let's go dig. Now I'm hot? I was just cold two seconds ago. And now I'm hot? Oh my, what's going on here? I'm lagging. Now I'm hot. I'm in the shade, does that count? No. 
There you go. I'm not hot anymore. What? That's with any axe, pick, chainsaw, or augers. That doesn't work with shovels, so. Right now I'm just gathering up clay. That's it. I didn't hear anything, I just looking around. I was just surprised how much trouble I've been having with the weather in this spot. I thought it was like kind of in a safe spot for weather wise. If you look on the map, the ice was a little more north of me. And the heat was a little more south of me. I'm kind of in the middle, so I guess maybe heat waves or temperature waves that's pretty good you can always come back at more see that dirt looks different than that dirt now it says I'm hot again holy moly man make up your mind which one is it Okay. Oh, would I actually wear these? There you go. Um, need a claw hammer. Let's take the crappy one. Get our, got our clay. Now you want that, that. There you go. It says we can make it. Um, you don't need a claw hammer? I thought you needed a claw hammer. I can make quite a few of these, actually. Uh, let's make two, then. Uh, you don't have the necessary resources to craft this. Oh, I need more leather. Oh. Okay. And then we'll hold on to the rest of it. I guess you don't need a claw hammer to make a forge anymore. Oh, it's for a workbench. Speaking of, let's check what it means to make a workbench. Oh, it's locked. I need to advance engineering. I gained a level, didn't I? Two levels, actually. So let's put one point in here. Not yet. Gotta be level four. Okay. Well, there goes all our levels. Craft workbenches. Fancy. It's gonna take 30 more seconds to finish this forge up. Um, I wanna put iron on it, of course. I don't have much iron on me. Let's go get some more. Which is surprising after all the cars I've broken down. You'd think I would have more iron on me, huh? I don't know how I'm hot, man. <laughs> Medical pile. Oh, a bunch of glass. So I actually learned how to repair brick in my class I've just been taking. So I could probably repair this in real life. <laughs> Surprising. I mean, some of this looks pretty bad though. That's like quite a good chunk of a wall. And uh, the funny part is that's not how brick works. Brick itself is not structural. Structural. Brick is a veneer. It's put on the outside. It's a decorative thing. It's not meant for structure. 
at all. So you would never see a full brick block like that, really. You'd only see it on the outside of a building. It's only meant to make it look nice. Not crazy. There's not much holding it there either. That's the terrifying part. Uh, I know I'm hot. Stop it. <gasps> Melting. No. Why? Okay. Oh, I left a tire. How could I? And a whatever. Oh, that's a radiator. Oh, I don't have my wrench with me. Ah, screw it. Yeah, bye. Okay, let's get back in the cold. Apparently, it's so hot out here. Can't stand it. Finish my forge, and I'm upside the end. Let's go put this forge up. Wonder if you guys can guess where I'm gonna put this. Should it be here in the kitchen? Should it be back in the uh, office quarters? Nah, it's not gonna be in any of those. It's going where the toilets used to go. This wall right here is perfect set up for setting up forges. Okay, you're gonna put some wood in there. You're then going to chuck in some iron. You're gonna put all your clay in there. You're gonna Oh I have an anvil! Before we get started, let's put the anvil on. It is obnoxious that that one door there is a uh, a locked one, so I might have to swap that out eventually. Anvil? Uh, I think I'm putting this fortifying grip on my... this here. That way when I'm using it, if I'm low on life, it'll help bring me back. It may not seem like much, but it'll help probably in the long run. Excuse me. Alright. Let the forge have fire. Increases crafting speed by 50%. If only we had the bellows there, which you can't craft them. There you go. Now let's start smelting away. One more forge done. Cool. Alright, now while we're gone, that'll be cooking away. I'm actually, I'm going to throw this here. And that, and that, and that. I don't want to carry any of this stuff, so I'm just loading it up here for now until I get better places for it. Now, uh, yos. Oh, I can just put it in the freezer, I guess. That's actually working out pretty well. I'm actually impressed. I need to get something to drink before we head out. And there you go. Not too shabby though, right? Looks like this is not going to come apart. That is not bueno. No bueno indeed. Uh, I had another wrench, but I guess it's in the other box. Okay, bringing some water with me. I'm ready to go. Let's go loot some more, huh? So we got a pretty good setup here. We've got multiple floors to use and work with for defensive. Uh, also have multiple ways to get out and in while leaving zombies either one behind or nearby. So it all works out pretty well. There's a little city here too. There is a barn there. Still surprised by that wolf, huh? Something different. There's some iron right here. There's a couple of bits of iron right there. I'm going to mark that on my map. Oh, whoop, hit the wrong button. Boop. 
Boom. I mark it right like that. There's a zombie there. Deersville. That's a heck of a sign, huh? I missed? Woof. Man, I swear I thought I had you, dude. We'll make the same mistake twice. Deersville. Dyersville? Die. Die. Arsville. Dyersville, I guess. Alright. Nice sign, though. That house almost looks like a bunker already. It's got walls around it. Windows every side. Looks like someone's already been here. There's spikes on it. It's a way through the back. Has a basement. Can I hop up here? No. That's not... Whenever you see a building that's got stuff like that... Whoa, what is this back garage, though? That is sweet. Uh, whenever you see a building that's got something like what... It looks like some other person's inhabited it. it you just One thing you want to be very careful of, especially as you get farther in the game. Landmines. No joke. Landmines. They will mess you up. If you're not ready for it. Oh. I like how they give me that little like hint. That's all I got off of this workbench? I should have brought a wrench. Let's find a wrench. If you can find a wrench. That's what I need right now. A wrench. Underbus, man. Ugh, there's a lot of flesh in there. How are you not dead? Got some cowboy boots. Better than that stuff. Here, zombies outside. Where'd the. He like swung across that. Like it was nothing. I do not appreciate that. That was pretty nasty of you. Don't want to get stunned anymore. Being stunned's really obnoxious. I hear you, zombie. There you are. One done. There's another one. Not out outside the wall. There you are. How do you sense that I'm down there? There's a rabbit. Like I said, you can get rabbits. If you have a projectile weapon of any sort, you can get them. But with a melee weapon, oh man, it's the worst. Absolute worst. Oh, man, there's a lot of zombies out and about, huh? He's not dead. Man, you are fast to get up and attack. 
That was fast. Then again, maybe my game is lagging. It's hard to say. When you're at full life, your health regeneration also occurs naturally, I believe. It's not much, though. It's pretty slow. So your healing factor is pretty much that rate there. Yeah, this is not a very pretty kitchen to be in. It's got stuff, but man. This tile roof is just coming down. Another, we got a repair kit though. Eight repair kits, that's really good. Looks like someone was holding out in here. Trying to. Ooh, a cigar. I am not wearing a skirt. <laughs> I'll put that cigar on though. Personally, I would never be caught dead smoking. I grew when I was a kid. I grew up in a house, and my dad smoked all the time. It's awful. And what it does to your family, and even your house. Um, you can tell you're in a smoker's house when the walls are supposed to be white and they're yellow. One down. Not fun, man. So I'm glad to see more people are are choosing the path of not to smoke or trying their best to quit. You know, my dad's tried to quit so many times, and it never works. I guess that's some people. You just, you know, it's just who they are, huh? Not much you can do about it. I am literally just grabbing everything. I am hoarding like crazy. Okay, let's try to get this a little more manageable. Ooh, we got a stone spear. We can make that, though, pretty easily. So having one on our person really doesn't do anything too crazy. We can make more of these, though, too. So why well, we swap that out for a stone spear? We got some steroids, too, which will help us carry stuff if we need to. Got some more food. Let's do that. I have one of these. Got a bunch of food. Well, that would made this worth this. Always remember to stay eat and drink when you can. I knew there was someone else in here. All right, this may be a bad decision, but any other zombies around want to come? Ah, there's another one around here. Where are you? You're outside. Oh, you're in the corner there. That was really creepy the way that thing jumped up on the sofa like that. Did you see that? It jumped like a weird spider. No. No thank you, man. Bookshelves are your best friend. Oh, look at that. There was something up there. Ammo. Where are you, Mr. Zombie? I know you're around. Now you find more brass, is it? Bullet. Uh, bullets. Learn how to harvest brass from doors and never run out of bullets again. Zooming uses less stamina. 
duck bill mod, which works for shotguns. I'm going to take this vitamins now. Eat these other rations. Try to shrink this up a little bit. All right. Must be upstairs. That is a dog. Dog's just sitting there. I missed? Man, the bullet drop on that is awful. Woo! Do not want to fight a dog. The reason why you want to do this is for that leather. Oh, I didn't mean to stab it. There's definitely a zombie in that nightstand over there. the other one there see I knew there's more than one whoa How are you alive I'm getting out of the room I swapped the blunderbuss thought you were reloaded make sure she's dead I'm gonna come back. Can't get Tinker yet. Nothing else here. Let's pull up my torch so I can see a little better. Aha! More ammo. Ooh, there's a big gun safe. Oh, we know there's zombies in here. Yup. Called that. Oh, there's quite a few of them. Oh, they hit a mine. From the roof. Okay, two from the roof. You didn't die. Okay, I think that last one didn't die. Oof, though, that mine, though, actually saved me. Who would have thought? Wow, what an exciting moment that was. Oof. Well, uh, is there another one? Yeah, that thing just blew up and took out everything there. I guess that was in case I came from that direction. Good thing I didn't. Okay, well, here it goes. I don't have a door here, so I'm kind of stuck. <sighs> Hopefully picking a lock. There's one lock picked down. Good part. So what it'll do is it'll hold my time place for picking the lock. But once it gets about three seconds, then it won't. When it, when it gets three seconds, then it'll reset always back to like three seconds or something like that. Ooh, oh, we're so close. So here, now that I'm behind three, it's going to put me back to five or something, right? right? Yay, we got it. Oh, man, we actually got some good stuff in this one. That's semi-decent. I'm overloaded like crazy. And who in the world put a mine here? It is nuts. Oh, man, I really wish I had that, um, that wrench with me. Should have brought it. Okay, hold up. Let's uh, scrap that. I don't need stone arrows, so scrap that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my stone spear, because that didn't help me at all. Take that iron sledgehammer there. Rifle parts. 
Metal chain mod. Uh, could be installed in clubs. Does that include sledgehammers? No, of course not. And clubs. Huh, kind of lame. Um, this could be in called into clothes. Can I put that into my helmet here? Yeah, I can. Okay. That'll help with mobility, usage. Alright. Okay. That dude is just out there smacking something a lot. Nothing in there. There's a couple of big luggage here. Some moo boots. Um, I already have cowboy boots on. Oh, that's better than what I'm wearing. Man, I called it though. I remember when I was outside, I'm like, in places like this, you gotta be careful of mines, and all of a sudden, poof, one goes right off, right in front of me. I'm not even a high level. That would have killed me. Hands down, I would have been dead. Now, before we jump out, let's reload our blunder bus. Hey, dude. Thanks. That was nuts. I couldn't have said that any sooner than it happened. Look, there's a playground. There's a slide, some swings. Oh, there's the rabbit. Oh, come here, rabbit. I'll try. Oh, I'm not going to catch up to you. Not like this. But with some medicine, I can do anything. Where are you? I am hunting you, rabbit. Where are you? Lose sight of him? He's... This grass is really tall. It must be hard. Can you hop over fences like this? I can't see anything. That's down now. Where are you, rabbit? Go well, away, tree. Where are you? You've gotta be in here because of the fence, unless you can jump over fences. Uh. Should probably head back. Getting this. Oh, there he is. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way, right? There he is. There he is. Okay, okay. He's running like crazy. Running like crazy. I see you, Mr. Rabbit. I'm sorry to do this, but. Aren't you right here? Where'd you go? Did you get across? No. Couldn't have. You know what? Let's get a vantage point. Where are you, Mr. Rabbit? I can't see. You guys are like, Sean, he's over there! Go get him! He's over there in the corner! Are you blind? And to that answer, yes, I am pretty blind. Where is he? You know what? Don't let the rabbit live. He seems to have smarted me, so... I find him, I find him. I should probably head back to base. So we raided that house some. I don't think we finished. We got most of it though. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a attic or anything, so. 
the uh, steroids I took, which help me help me carry everything, also make me run faster. But they also consume water and food. I think water. See, I was hoping to go run faster to catch after the rabbit. Unfortunately, it wasn't that lucky. Uh, one of the things I do before the nighttime happens is I will walk around my base or take a look around my base to see if there's any zombies, anything that's going to attack in the course of the night. So now I'm, I'm slowly but surely eliminating the threats around the vicinity of me. Wow, that wall's actually deeper on the inside than it is on the outside. That's pretty interesting. I should build a dig down around this outside then. I'm not seeing any zombies over here. That's always good. I'm gonna cut down a tree or two. <laughs> Kablam! Smack, 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 da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba. That's pretty good. Is there blood there? I can't get it off, so I guess it's there. Okay. Well, so be it. That bothers me. Oh, it's a thousand? That's gonna be there for a while. Alright, let's check the forge. Oh yeah, we went through all that metal in that period of time. Grab some more. I only got two more pieces of clay, so use that up. Um, yeah, let's do that. What do we got here? Don't think I have anything that matches all this stuff. Oh, here. Uh, we can put some farming stuff in here, I suppose. Put a piece of wood on the fire. So an easier way to do this, you can just put your cursor over and then right click. Oh, that didn't work for some reason. Now that worked. I had to let go once I clicked it. Usually 10 minutes is more than enough to get everything you need cooked done. I can make some coffee. I am bottles of it. Oof, that's a lot of coffee. <laughs> Vending machine still doesn't work. Why is there blood? We have gone eh, seven days without an incident. Seven days? Are you for real? We've gone seven? Ugh, of course you have. What else does this thing say? Adult choking and CPR. CPR, no breathing, a hazard. I can't even read it. Quick reference. A day in the workplace, is that what it says? Something like that. There's a bag up there. I missed that. Ah, BDUs, they're pink. All right, well. I've been playing for quite some time. I think we're going to call it here, guys, while we're sitting in front of my stream today. Um, here, let's, let's actually make it look like there's something on the screen, huh? There you go. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Got that 1080p IHK resolution on that screen. <laughs> um... Yeah, we're called today for today's uh, episode. Thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. I know it has its ups and downs, but I think that mine earns MVP of the day. It blew up and took out all those zombies in that one spot. And if I would have been the person coming through that door, it would have been me. So, 
that was kind of nice <laughs> for once. It wasn't me. But hope to see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>